So people are starting to breathe again in Phoenix and Minneapolis. Tech companies in New York are getting a lot of support and yet another reason why you should be thinking about security. I'm Mark Pfeffer and this is the Dice News Update for Friday, April 2nd, 2010. So it looks like the market for contractors and full-time tech professionals is coming back in Minneapolis. Recruiters there say job orders are up at some shops by more than half, though I've got to admit they're not back to pre-recession levels. Skills needed include SAP, .NET, and Java development, and project managers. The busiest verticals are healthcare and manufacturing. Phoenix is seeing some encouraging signs also. First of all, a lot of candidates are starting to get offers again. In two big trends, companies are concerned with attracting good talent and keeping it, and some candidates are getting two or three offers. We haven't heard that kind of news in a while. The skills in demand down there? Help desk, desktop support, application development, software engineering, network engineering, and database administration. Busy industries are financial services and education. Hmm. Could that be the sound of things not sucking? Or maybe not sucking quite so much? As long as we're talking about cities, let's talk about New York. Tech startups there are getting a lot of support from a lot of places. One company's founder says that's all because smart money here is going to smart ideas, though you'd kind of expect him to say that. But let's not forget a lot of Wall Street folks who know a lot about money are looking for new things to do since they lost their jobs during the credit crisis. And there's great support here, lawyers and others who know their way around tech and startups in general. The city's doing its part too. Last year, it began helping businesses find affordable office space, and now it's set out to award $9 million to new companies that locate here. Here's another reason, I think it's number 342, why you should be paying attention to security. A report from McAfee found more than half of 600 executives have been victims of large-scale cyber attacks. What makes this group different? They're IT security specialists, and they work at critical infrastructure enterprises. So no surprise you can expect the market for security products to grow. By some estimates, the federal government by itself will spend about $55 billion on cybersecurity over the next six years. Providers are developing new products for popular online environments like cloud computing, SaaS, and virtual private networks. I think we've said it before, and I think we'll say it again. Security is really becoming one of those baseline skills you just have to have some knowledge of. So that's it for this week. Come back on Wednesday when Kat Miller will be here with another edition of Dice TV, and I'll be back on Friday. Until then, I'm Mark Pfeffer, Managing Editor of Dice News, and we now return you to your regular desktop.